Got another match here. No full stack on either team this time. Minaris and Internet Explorer on Team 2, and Dramus on Team 1. I'm joined by a large pack of randos, which I have missed now that we are dropping down. I am joined on Team Caster by a fresh face and an old face. Someone who's been in a lot of games, but this is his first time casting. Captain Chaos. I don't have a face. Just a mouth. Oh my. Well, that is quite terrifying. <laughs> and we drop down with Beam Battleship on the ANS team, so we're going to go through this. Uh, it's Beams on the front, 450 on the back. The opposite of what people usually do, and a bullseye on that top mount as well. Or no, a blanket. That's a blanket. Such an yeah. odd build. It's a very We, we should man. alternate. I'll go to an OS, the first OSP guy and tell, tell that. That would be such a mess. <laughs> Yeah, you go. You with, go. The, with the camera, because I'd have to jump over there with you. I'd actually consider doing that something like that with beef, but it just... The camera control would be really wonk. Yeah. Well, keep going. Got Brace Damon also has a scout with gun on it and some DLS ones on the side. And these offensives? No, nope, just defensives. Lame. Bohelia and another battleship. So we got two battleships mm -hmm. on sticks. We've seen this before. Oh, he's got Bismarck a gun battleship. and the turpins. Together. As they should be. Perhaps. Perhaps. But not quite as much planning out of these uh, Jupiter V Einstein. <laughs> Here we got voxels. Gun voxels. Fun time. With some E support Corvettes, then another box of D. We get the Corvette. Test? Am I back? Okay. My headset died, so I had to oh. plug that in real quick. Always charge your wireless headphones before you do Great. important things, folks. I, I went over the two voxel teams. Okay, cool. So you went over these two voxel teams. Both of them? Yeah. You got Kong Sucker and Rise? Yeah, they're pretty basic. They just got uh, chaff and stuff in the back and guns and PD. It's pretty basic. Cool. That means we can go over to the OSP team. Shirtugal with one single missile bulker loaded down. Hey, how you doing? 313 of them. So that's got to be... No, these aren't semi-actives. Man, what what kind of warhead do you have? What kind of seeker head do you have on this? this? Uh, we'll see. Don't know. It's a mystery. Got Minaris here with plasma and 100 mil monitors. That that's all that's in the suite. There's five of them. Plasma on the nose, 100 mils in the top and bottom slots, and then bastions on the sides. Yeah, one's got a bellbird and a pinpoint. But, uh, Which one? Yes. Ah, good catch. Good no. catch. Thank you. The middle one. Internet Explorer. Can I go to that? I'm already at it. Has a 450 Acelo with Auroras on the side, a couple Bastions, Bullseye, and a pair of Floodlights as well. Yeah, Can you please tweak this a that. little bit? Yeah. Wonder he brings those two Floodlights. It's unique. Yeah, and I think it works out for him pretty well. I think it helps his uh, radar picture. Oh yeah, OSB has trouble against jamming. Floodlights help. Sure. A offset PD tug and then a little scout. Corbo also has an assault. Rail Ocello, nice, with almost no point defense, just two Sarissas. This thing is a huge risk. That's a, that's a yikes. That's a gigantic gamble. I think it's going to work out though, because the ANS team doesn't have any offensive missiles. No, they don't. Yeah, none, none. Absolutely not. Well, Thunderheads. Some Thunderheads out of the one of the battleships, but yeah. So that's a gamble that's going to pay off. Oh, we and got I'll... some jamming going on by Charlie. Some size 2's coming in towards this Corvette and the other Corvette. And that point and skipping allows him to bring this Tug Swarm. All right, Jamie and Corvette. Yeah, and the size 2's came in. We watched those come. Do some good damage. Oh, yeah. Let's see, the Eliminator is not quite enough to cut through the double blankets, though. As we can see on the paint yeah. up here on the left. Mm. 
All right, let's see what's going on on a bigger map during all of that. No one's going after Echo. Completely abandoned by both teams. No. Got both and, teams taking uh, natural and OSP grabbing Delta. Yeah, the the best thing to take Echo would be one of those sprinters or one of those tugs. But I don't think I don't think they're planning on moving them. Move the read. There. I think this Pinard Sprinter would actually be a perfect target for that. I mean, obviously you want the Pinard data. You don't want to risk this just getting shot out of the sky that doesn't have any anti-missile systems. But uh, you, you really do need the caps. Both teams are tied right now on uh, on caps and basically on score. Yeah, so four on Conk over here. This uh, this this Corvette could easily take Echo. Uh, yeah. How you doing? Are coming in around the rock. That's what I like to see. Do they have the point defense? They don't. Oh, the defenders they are missing, unfortunately. Yeah, Rock's the best point defense. Rock's also the best anti-point defense. Right. This game is not a game about spaceships. It's a game it's about, a game about rocks. rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. You heard it here first, folks. Nebulous yeah. space rock and also there are ships nearby command. Nebulous Rock Command. Nebulous and, uh, Rock. There is there is a current uh, legal dispute between this game and Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, <laughs> yes, we yes. We don't talk about that. Well known. Well known. <laughs> Very real. Definitely not made up. No. Source, I made it up. Yeah. Source, some guy said so. Yep. <laughs> Ton of fire coming into the amethyst here. Oh my god. More, more missiles. More missiles, more plasma, 100 mil, 450. Yeah. I think some rail fire was coming into it as well. This thing is gonna get murdered. Oh yeah. These voxels are not having a good time. No. Might even say they're having this a bad battleship, time. battleship, though. I don't think he's gonna be enough. I don't think so either. In fact, I think he's yeah, about to getting, become a really big getting, target. He's eating plasma now. And uh, what's the range on that? Can we check? Not really. There's no way to tell. Although they're Darn, at roughly the same no distance. Well, there's no way to tell exactly, but we have to just kind of yeah, guess uh, on the but I'm pretty sure. It's like seven clicks, just about. Yeah, that's so it's not getting full armor pen. Um, so he better be using HE and on those. Getting or else he's not going to get through. AP, you mean? No, so uh, HE will go through 30 uh, centimeters, and at maximum range, plasma takes away 30. Battleship has less than 60 centimeters. It'll go through. Don't they have 61? Uh, 61. Are you talking 61? about the battleship or the plasma pen? The battleship. Oh, well, I, now it really doesn't matter, because this thing just got cooked. Yeah, that's Lighter true. Plasma. It's, it's 52. I it's remember 52. That. Where am I getting 61 from? That's probably just a number I made up, because I'm a dumbass. It happens. Well, we all do that. Yeah. I can also make up a number. <laughs> you have a true gift, my son. <laughs> Not many can create numbers out of thin air. Yep. Or right, how you doing? It's, uh... it's coming in. Oh, the other voxel fleet. Hard stonewall, though. Although, they're too busy focusing on the ones that are going away, yeah. Oh, Not yeah, able they're to going switch. towards this battleship. The enemy is securing zone eclipse. That's pretty much stopped, but a uh, few hits on this voxel fleet. Not too much damage. They're still fighting fit, but they're definitely bruised. Finally, the foreign conch, like you were saying earlier, came down and kept Echo. Bernard. Louise. The Just... shuttle down by Echo that was trying to contest is uh, getting shot by RPF, unfortunately. And yeah, I think from two angles. A, yeah, its drive is out now. So, a try and a fail the... on that one. Missiles coming in for the Corvette, though. The 
try and stop it. Oh, that's gonna kill us. And I think yeah. it's gonna work. This is, this is the problem yeah. with using these sorts of off-angle scouts that really aren't ever supposed to be seen or shot at as capping cleat. Yeah. Uh, that is pain. I think it was the right yes. play, but uh, didn't didn't pay off. No, not in the end. Couldn't quite cap uh, Echo. This, this destroyer, no, Reigns, almost took care of all those missiles, which is very impressive for a single Reigns. But not quite. Yeah, it took a few hits in the rear and also got one of its stone walls downed, which means its yeah. PD net is going to be significantly weakened. Correct. This foxhole taking hits still up uh, the limes. It's practically gone. This, uh, this little group down here by Delta, I don't know why they're not trying to contest it. Perhaps they're scared of this tug, uh, tug group. I think they're spooked by the missiles. Too. They're, they're trying to stay together. That. They're staying just a little too close together. They're in. They are also in a tactical clump. They're just kind of stuck. Oh my! Solid alert. There we go. Yeah, dumps a bunch of chaff out, but not early enough. Not able to get away from it. So even if the chaff lured anything, it would have gone straight through the trap into the boxer. Yep. Unfortunate. Why you really want to have the chaff on like the rear launcher or front launcher and then go in the opposite direction of the chaff. Because this guy launched a bunch from his rear and then backed up, which may be back right in the chaff. It will ruin you. You gotta you gotta use chaff like friends. You gotta just push them into your problems. <laughs> oh god. That is uh terrible advice. <laughs> Stay tuned for more mean? How to Ruin Your Life <laughs> suggestions. <laughs> more advice from the most toxic person on the planet. Gavin Gaius, Gavin everybody. Gale. God, these missile strikes are out of control, dude. Who's rocking the missiles? Shaturgle. Okay, we're going to take a look at your fleet. After yeah, this. He, he keeps going. He just keeps going. He still got 122 in there. He has oh one gale God. in there. Yeah, I like the I one think. gale. I'm presuming that's it's, an it's, arming it's, missile. Yeah, it's a ceremonial, ceremonial uh, arming missile, I'm assuming. I guess we're both assuming it. Yep, yep, yep. That's what it sounds like to me. Jamming from the, the group down there, down south. I must be able to get a cap lead here in a second if I can finish this cap on Charlie. Oh, yeah. And that is going to be a big problem for the ANS because they are definitely yeah. on the back foot. 100%. Especially with all the plasma and 100 mil coming into the front of the Solomon. It's going to be able to tank for a while, but not for forever. No, it's it's uh, it's fronts getting roasted. It's also firing some reposts offensively into a I guess wall. it is. Yeah, it's still going into the wall. Now yeah, Limes is dead. Got missile damn gunned. And he is going after Echo once again. I don't think this rains one stone wall. I don't think it's gonna cut it. Okay, we dodge the RPF. Ooh, up just a little too high. Yep, and it's going after the already dead sprinter. Whoops. Been there, yep. done that. Life is pain. Dead ships are basically rocks. That is and, true. Uh, we all we all know how important rocks are. Yeah, you're a nebulous rock command. Speaking of rocks, reactor blooms are just like a different kind of rock, you know, because it's big, it's round. Yeah, it's it's a crystalline entity. Yes, yes. Yeah, not not that copyrighted character. I'm starting to <laughs> No. <laughs> something else. Something else that isn't going to get Paramount to come and beat the hell out of all of us. No. I was referencing a Star Trek episode. I don't know if that's any better. That, that Paramount's who owns Star Trek. That's what I was, oh. that's what I was talking about. Sorry, I goofed. So good. 
I goofed. I got confused. Ton of damage coming into the side of this, the starboard side of this, uh, what is this, battleship? And that's gonna be, that's kind of the last of the uh, Anis is fighting for it. No, they still got another battleship that's just fine. It's down yeah, here on Echo, though. Dude, what's the battleship gonna do? Cap it's all the points? So far away. Behind their, behind their, uh... Bro, you don't know about the back capping double basic engine beam battleship? <laughs> Extreme no, speed. But uh, I would put put it behind ANS to surrender now. Yeah, this is just it's time. They still have missiles coming out of this bulk crater. Uh, 58, how you doing? Featuring Rocky. Yeah, it, the game the game is over. The game is definitely yeah. over. ANS team kind of got slaughtered by those missiles. Wow. Thoughts, feelings, concerns? Uh, bring point defense. Always. OSB, uh, especially monitors, tend to struggle with uh, PD, but this is the other way around, isn't it? Yeah, it ain't us having big problems. Monitor team, who is this monitor team? This is Manaris. Just killing it. Doing. I know we've been talking about the missiles, but these monitors have been doing a ton of work too. Just gunning down a oh, big voxel, time. two voxels, messing with a battleship a lot. Oh, yeah. Just very, very fast. Very it's fast. pretty roasted. Well done. And Kobo's little tug team's also doing work. Just everybody on the OSP team, though. Just wrecking. Alright. Shirtoko is the fucking milf loot. I forgot about this guy. He's shown up in a video before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ANS. Uh, also, don't bring two battleships. That's a big yeah, one. That's a bad one. That's a that's huge one. One battleship has a place. You can do really well if you play around it and treat it like a strategic weapon. But. Two battleships. Ram, really. Yeah, or a battering ram. It's a great example. Like your game on Aorta. Oh yeah. That but, was good. But, uh, two battleships, two two battering rams is not it's too much. Too much mass, not enough not enough speed. I've seen I've seen uh Do you remember that game where we had three, three battleships, battleships on Yukon? Yes. On yes. I remember that. That was uh, that that was the only reason that worked is because you didn't have a whole lot of capping power, and you had uh, backliners up the wazoo. Yeah, yeah, it was all battleships versus all backliners. Yeah, and so just... we just sort of rolled up on you, and just nothing you could have done. No, absolutely nothing. I think I did the most damage in the missile Ocello, and I was firing Mark IIs into battleships. Yep. And you, and you really don't want to be doing that? Yep. And like point blank ranges. So uh, any any combination of fleets really works if it's against the right enemy composition. That's true. But Generally tell, though Yeah, exactly. You want to be kinda prepared for roughly everything. Mm -hmm. Which is where it gets interesting because you can't fully prepare for everything, can you? Not really. That is absolutely no. true. But you need, like, a, a general plan of, like, okay, we got one cap fleet, we got one power fleet, you know, something right. with 450s to just dish support out the fleet. damage. One support fleet, and then one flex fleet. Something with, like, voxels uh, that can yeah. kind of go anywhere, kind of do anything. It can be guns, it can be anti-shuttle can be mobile OSP is a lot more difficult time with this because their flex fleet is like tugs and tugs are too fragile yeah. to do that very well correct so often as OSP you'd rather have like two front liners and then yeah, they, they have no voxel equivalent really. not really 
I mean, they have the Acello, but that's more of an axe uh, for yeah. uh, on discount. Yeah, uh, well, you can turn an Acello into a Voxel, but it, but it's really yeah. crappy. Yeah, it's too big. It's way too big. I like to think of the Acello as something in between a Voxel and and, and Axford, because uh, Axford, you can go broadside with that pretty okay. But uh, not a Voxel. And so the Acello is like the size of an Axford, but you gotta use that heading command like crazy, like a Voxel. So it's sort of in between. Yeah, it's got the, it's got kind of the benefits and the drawbacks of both. I, I, I agree. Right. It's definitely kind of in the mid line. Between the two. But the uh, thing is, the Voxel is sort of. It, it's just. It just feels like something's missing. Since the OSB has no equivalent. A little bit, but I think that's part of the point. That's why we have asymmetric factions. You're not, you're not meant to have the exact same answer. So what are you supposed to have? What does the OSP have, like, in place of that, do you think? Uh, Bulkers with the ability to very powerfully mount 250s and 450s and 100 mils. The sheer damage output and, and of missiles. the bulk and but missiles. As we see. Yeah, it's, it's it's everything. A bulker can be every single ship. Is right. what it is. It just depends on how you build it. Yeah, you gotta drive it. Uh, you know, like a beam battleship where you're you don't want to get caught out and you know die way too soon. Ooh, no damage before you can do your damage. All right, let's take a look at your turtle. What what's your guess? Don't look at him. What's your guess for how much damage you did? The missile guy. I want to say 45k. Oh my god. Okay, I was going to say 45k as well. So, oh well. that's, uh, let's, let's find out. 60,000 damage! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my fucking god. I don't even think this guy's in the Discord, but he's going in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, and he's got a great call sign. <laughs> oh, yeah, real Stacy's mom. Stacy's mom. <laughs> Look at that. 175 lands. Just barely no, over the, 100 pieces. Active pass with wake validators. This is, it's a good build. It's a good build. That's why I said in the comments of one of those videos when someone was like, So why do you use wake as a secondary? And I explained, like, Well, this is why for this specific circumstance, you this usually is... want it as a validator because it's really good. I just kind of like it as a secondary yep, dealing it's with better, shuttles it's, it's better against decoys um but yeah otherwise yeah. all that's all correct that's all the correct information yeah with, the validator is better mean, against most targets but the uh secondary is better against fast shuttles i think i think i tend to agree because, uh, especially with active radar, because active radar is only a cone. Yeah. Passive wake is 360 degrees. I don't think and that's correct, turns. but it's like a huge, huge radius. It's something like that. It's something like that. It's, it's absolutely gigantic. It throws out this gigantic cone, and that's that's what it's for. It's for catching things on the edge. Shaturkel doing basically all the damage for the OSP team. I've been browsing through this. I mean, Internet Explorer getting on the board, 12k, and 13 out of the LMO. Very nice. Maneris is monitors also doing good damage, but Shatargo fucking carrying, no doubt. Yep, he got the he's a um, Sisyphus with the boulder on his back. Indeed, just carrying, or rather, pushing it up the mountain. That's wrong. And, yeah, uh, that's, whatever. You get my point. It's falling <laughs> down and him having to push it up again. Yeah, that that's no, that doesn't work. It's like. Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. I don't care. He carried. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We don't need a metaphor. Everybody knows what that means. We don't need metaphors. ANS team. Not doing anything, really. No damage going out. Just getting completely slapped aside they by were, the missiles. They were cosplaying SpongeBob. I don't you know, know what that means. They, they were sponges. They were just taking damage. Oh. Okay. Well, you didn't. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> That's what I works the... for you. <laughs> Thanks for coming out and truly making this a uh, 
special experience. Special's the right word. Yeah, you put Correct. the two of us in a room together and it's just fucking nonsense. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, I got PS2 Hacker as my mascot. What else yeah. are you going to expect? That's true. So, I hope you enjoyed, dear viewer, the uh, shaking things up a little bit here with Captain Chaos. The spectator yeah. slot. I'm just a guy. Just a guy. Yeah. Yeah, just a guy. Hi. Hi, See you. dear viewer. In the battle space. <laughs> <laughs>